<laughs> okay, speaking of IQ points, so now we have a new press secretary. Mm. And I got to tell you, I am a Karen Jean-Pierre fan. Is it Karine? Karen? We're going to call her Karen. Karen. So uh, Karen Jean-Pierre made her debut <laughs> yesterday, and it was every bit as – here's the thing. I always said this about Jen. I didn't like Jen Psaki, uh-huh. but she was good at lying. Yes, very. She was a very effective Very yeah. good at being liar. soulless. Very good at saying circle back. Yes. Circle back. This, this one, Jean-Pierre. Yes. Not so much. A lot of boxes there were checked. Yes. I am obviously acutely aware uh, that my presence at this podium uh, represents a few firsts. Uh, I am a black gay immigrant woman. With Ricketts. The first of all three of those to hold this position. I would not be here today if it were not for generations of barriers, pe- barrier breaking people before me. I stand on their shoulders. If, if it were not for Check generations of barrier, barrier breaking people before me, I would not be here. But um, I benefit from their sacrifices. I have learned from their ex- ex- excellence, huh. and I am forever have grateful you? to them. Representation does matter. You hear us. You hear us say this uh, often in this administration, and no one understands this better than President Biden. Yeah, no one understands diversity better than former Vice President Joe Biden, <laughs> the oldest white guy to have ever achieved office. If she were to go and say, I'm a, I'm a gay black immigrant, you'd be like, huh? This you is ain't black. This is America. Don't forget immigrants. Yes, don't forget immigrants. Ah. It's good to see Corbin Blues getting work. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about those gas prices. Oh my God. She's black and gay. Well, bye-bye inflation. There you go. Hey, speaking of inflation, <laughs> <laughs> she uh, had some wise words, and by that, I mean not uh, on that topic, too. But how does raising taxes on corporations lower the cost of gas, the cost of a used car, the cost of food for everyday <laughs> That's a good Americans? Question. Good so question. look, I think we encourage those who have done very well, right, especially those who care about climate change uh, to support a fair ta- tax code that say? doesn't change, that yeah. doesn't you charge manufacturers, workers, on her cops, builders, a higher <laughs> percentage of their earnings, that the most fortunate people in our nation and not let this, like this, that reading. stand in the way of reducing Reducing energy costs her, and fighting literate. this ex- existential problem, if you think about that as an example. No, what, and to support what, what example? basic collective bargaining rights as well, right? That's also the important. But look, it is, you know, by not, if, without having a fairer tax code, which is what I'm talking about, then all, the, every, like manufacturing workers, cops, you know, it's not fair for them yes, to have to pay the cops. higher taxes than the folks that, who are, who are, who are not paying taxes well, at all. Okay, so let me first examine that non-answer. This is when you're a classist, as she is. Uh, And whether she believes it or not, this is what they have to sell to the American people because they actually have sold out the American middle class. It's like a racist where every answer is, "Ah, it's the damn blacks or the Jews. Every single answer is, it's rich people. We We need to take their money. Yeah, but how does that help people who don't have a lot of money and everything is costing? We're going to take other people's money. It's the answer to everything. Here's why it doesn't work. Take into account that in 2020, uh, when when you take account for uh, federal uh, transfers, which means, you know, sort of like social safety nets, uh, welfare programs, 60.6% 60.6% of households paid no income tax. Wow. Now, the top 25% of earners already pay 87% of all income taxes. The bottom 50%, they pay only 3%, just to be clear. Wow. Hm. To be fair, though, filling the stilettos of Jen Psaki was never going to be an easy job. No, it was not going to be an easy job. <laughs> not a good test. Especially when she was triple white. Well, That's true. Thank, thank God she checks all the Also, other by the way, economists have even verified that Donald Trump's tax cuts benefited the middle class more than anybody. Yeah. It didn't benefit the ultra wealthy. Here's the thing. The middle class are the people who end up footing the bill. I understand what you're talking about, that ultra wealthy billionaires, they put their money offshore a lot of the time and they don't pay a ton in taxes. But we want to we want to sort of pivot that to capital gains. That also will affect the middle class if you're talking about people who are retiring. Do you really want to have to pay capital gains on money that you've already paid taxes on? So they offer these solutions that aren't solutions. They just want you to be greedy. They say that it's greedy for people to want to keep their money, but it's not greedy for you to want to take their money regardless of how it was earned. Keep in mind on the answer of inflation, only the government can create inflation. Right? Take that into... Think about this for a second. 
Computers, are they more expensive or less expensive? Smartphones, now you can get them for free. Generally speaking, consumer goods become more affordable as businesses become more efficient and the demand increases. It's in the business's best interest to make goods or services more affordable to more people. You can't print money. You can't create government programs. You can't tax businesses to raise the cost of goods and services. Only the government can do that. Only the government can create and exacerbate inflation. And her answer is take more money from rich people. Well, the, My the interesting money part is getting pretty good. Yeah. Well, because that guy <laughs> well, jumped that, on a yeah, table. Yeah, he's not going to be able to afford more it. printers to buy to jump on. How many? How's he going to get the tables? <laughs> One, it was an incoherent answer, right? She rambled on. And two, he asked, how is raising taxes going to fight inflation? Which it won't. They, well, she didn't, she didn't say it would. No, she said... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. She, she, she didn't, didn't read that it would. The question yeah. at all, and she didn't answer any questions. I think at all. No, she didn't answer any questions. Well, that's her job, though. No, her In job fairness, is her... to spin. Her job is yeah. to, you know what you say? You say, look, I understand that inflation is high right now, but by doing X, we get Y. Right. And you put your talking points in. And what she did was ramble on about cops and saying how it's not fair and how people do this and that. And it was incoherent. And she stumbled over every other word doing it. Yeah. Spin that, shitty. That's not good. Yeah. Now, maybe it's her first day and she's got jitters because her only qualifications were what she listed off the top. Mm. I have no idea. But she didn't do a good job of answering a question. She did do a good job, though, after that of swiffering the podium. Now, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> On the uh, note of Jen Psaki, uh, look, we always have to honor people who we see as worthy rivals. And so, Jen Psaki, we will miss her. And it's time to, we've done this for every single candidate and every major political figure. Yeah. Uh, Jen Psaki, thank you for your service. It's time to close. I did ask our team about this. You or someone else may have asked about this the other day, and I think I have something on it here. One moment. Lots to say about COVID, no doubt about it. Um, so, <clears throat> time to close. Endings and beginnings are ending uh, <clears throat> and beginnings. Thanks for your patience. Time to close. It's time to go to places where you go to place yourself. Let's see. I know that it's time. I think for I have something on it here. One moment. I know that it's time. Let me. Let me. Let me. Um. I know. So, let's see. Let me, let me, let me um, talk to our team about it. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.